Hey guys, it's me Ajax. Thank you for tuning in. So let's have some fun chopping up some vocals today. I've got some vocals chopped up here. Alright, so these vocals I placed into a drum rack. We've got a low octave and a high octave. Just slapped them in there after they've been diced up. This drum rack is getting triggered by these MIDI files here. I've got a drum kit, I've got a bass line, and I've got a blank MIDI file. Now, for this to work properly, you've got to set your MIDI up right. So if you have a MIDI sound set up on a MIDI track, it needs to go to a blank MIDI and then to the MIDI file. So this drum kit is sent to this MIDI and then from MIDI to this drum rack. Okay, so that drum track is triggering these vocals. Let's take this bass line and do the same thing with it. Now this bass line has got to be patched in here. You got to receive the MIDI from this bass line and then send it to this drum rack for this to work. So here's now the bass line, just a basic bass line. Now if you have a MIDI track with no sound, it's just a MIDI track, you can just send it to the drum rack without having to send it into an empty MIDI file, right? Okay, you can actually trigger all of them if you want to at the same time, but for this example, let's trigger the bass and the drum. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. Laters.